Today we're going to look at a core from Livingston County, which is out in western Kentucky, about 50 miles probably from Paducah. This is an area that is heavily faulted, which means the rocks have been fractured and moved because it's not too far from the Rough Creek fault system or the New Madrid fault. So these are all going to be carbonate rocks, which means they're calcium carbonate, they have carbon in them, they have organic matter in them. And you also see dolomite stones, which have a magnesium content in them. But they still have calcium and carbonate to go with it. So, here you see one of the field tools that a geologist can use when he's looking at a rock out where they're drilling for this core. And here you see it's been dyed with chemical. The red part shows a high calcium content. The blue shows a high magnesium content. So you have a little double stone here and limestone right here beside of it. These are all fractured and there's been some displacement and solution and it leaves places for water to move through and deposit minerals. We call these vein minerals. And that's what you're looking at here. This is breccia. You can see these little angular pieces of rock. And they have either been eroded on the surface, and this is part of what's left, or here again is where the rock under force of some kind broke, and it's left all this space that was filled in by minerals. And you can see the rapid change. You see maybe a little petroleum in here that colors it a little bit darker. And here you have a stylite. It's a pressure solution mark where hot water has solutioned and forced its way through here. And down here we have bitumens. This is dead oil in the rock. If you look at this piece of core, you can see little marks here. These are bugs. When fluids are carrying the oil through this rock, the oil molecules are bigger and it got stuck in here. If you have enough oil here, this is pretty dead stuff, but you have liquid oil, then it can be called a source rock. And people will drill down to recover this oil. Now, when they get that oil, it can look like this. This is from Knox Dolomite. It's an Ordovician formation. And the Knox formation itself is Ordovician Cambrian. It came from McCurry County. And Strunk is between <laughs> Pine Knot and the Tennessee state line. But down here, you see this clearer fluid. This is a brine. A brine is saltier than seawater. It's usually considered to be more than 50 parts per thousand salt. And you get a lot of this, and under today's environmental laws, you have to safely dispose of this. 
But this up here is a liquid oil, it's called a kerogen. These three boxes, you see several zones of fossils. These are corals. And you can see them laying at different angles. Now consider that you're looking down further into the earth. If this is vertical, you're going down. And you find these fossils laying at different angles. These are on their sides. These, it looks like they're vertical, but they're not. They're laying on their side and we drilled down through them. And these over here are at different angles. You can see a vertical one here. The rest of them are laying at different angles and you can get a cross section of the animals. So when you hit a marine zone like this, these are some of the things that you can see. Up to now, we've been showing you core laying flat in a box. But when you core, it's a very expensive process. And you only do it when you're looking for certain things that no other technique will give you. Now this big core here is from the Tanglewood member of the Lexington Limestone. It was actually drilled on UK's campus for the old student health building for an elevator shaft. And it's hard to see, but it's very fossiliferous. You see all sorts of beds in here with interbedded shales and limestones throughout. There's a nice shale right here. Now, this gives you an idea of what you're really doing, which is taking a core barrel, which is hollow in the middle, and attaching it to the drill stem of the drill machine, and you drill vertically into the earth through the beds of rock that interest you, or until you get to the beds of rock that interest you. And this gives you a view of the earth through time. As you go down, you're getting continuously over rock. And this particular rock is well over 420 million years old. The deeper you go, the older it is. Whereas this piece of rock is Tyrone limestone. This came from the middle of the Kentucky River in Frankfurt. And it was drilled in order to put a bridge pier in to support the US 127 bridge across the Kentucky River. It's a much finer limestone, has shells and embedded in it. But the point of all this is you drill down and the older rock, regardless whether you're looking for minerals, or you're looking for petroleum, or whether you just want to know the stratigraphy of the rock for a geologic map, or for an engineering project, or even a construction problem project when you're building, say, a high-rise building. You have to be sure that the rock underneath will support weight of that heavy structure on top of it.